Okay guys, the exam is not all about definition of terms and memorization. I just realized something after I finished the section 14 from the course. It's a realization and hesitation if I can really pass the exam. Hi guys, I'm Shaina and welcome back to Flagback's channel. I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco CCNA. If you're new to this channel and if you just found this video somewhere, I suggest to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you will be updated whenever I posted a new video. So I am now on the section 15 of our course. And you know what? I just realized something while reviewing the section 15, which is all about Cisco device management. Actually, this realization comes after I finish the topic of the life of a pocket and Cisco troubleshooting methodology, which is section 12 and section 13. Am I the only one who can't pick up the lesson immediately? This realization will change our life forever. A realization that will change the way I review in preparation for the CCNA exam. You know what guys, on the earlier section, it's more on definition of terms, memorization, review of the terminologies. Now, when I reach section 12, I then realize it's all the combination of all the topics I reviewed before. Combination of all the topics I learned from the previous topics. And I realized that this topic is more on logical. And I think I should enhance my logical thinking. And honestly, I'm not good in logical. I'm not a logical thinker. Well, if you're already on this topic, the life of a pocket and Cisco troubleshooting methodology, you will also realize this thing that I think I should enhance my logical thinking. And I guess the exam is not all about definition of terms, memorization. I think it's going to be more on situational and the questions are really tricky. Now guys, I have some question for you. Can you help me with this feeling that I'm feeling right now? Okay, let's go this way, guys. Can you rate yourself from 1 to 10 on how logical you are? Can you help me, guys, to remove the hesitation that I'm feeling right now? Because I know to myself that I'm not a really a logical thinker. I know there are logical on some simple and basic applications on our everyday life, like how to cook a rice, how to wash clothes, and how to make a coffee. But the exam, you know, the topic is not all about making a coffee. It's not all about a simple ABC. It's not just a simple application of mathematics, unlike on subnetting and VLSM. If you reach section 12, guys, without digesting the previous topics, you can also feel this feeling that I'm feeling right now. But I guess that not everyone was born to be logical. There are really people who are really logical, but not everyone are born to be gifted with logical thinking. But you know what? When you are studying season A, you will think about this, guys. I need to be logical. I need to survive this lesson. But how to be actually one of them? So help me guys, let me know on the comment section what are the things that you realize while reviewing this topic about the life of a pocket and Cisco troubleshooting methodology. This is also the topic where you will find that the lab exercises that we can actually get for free even if we are not enrolled in the course. So the lab exercises are free. This is also the topic where you will find that this is very helpful to enhance our logical thinking. Okay, now, here's the thing. I'm not logical. Will I pass the exam? You know what? What really happened, guys? I have to watch the videos for like three times in order for me to get the topic. Watching it three times before I get the topic. I don't know if I am the only student who has this situation, but that is really what is happening. That's why my progress is very slow. If I am just gifted to be smart, things will be easier for me but it's not the case that is not the reality let me show you guys this is what i am referring the life of a pocket here the life of a pocket i really had a hard time understanding this topic but you know the good thing here on this section guys our instructor is very hands-on. He really discuss this topic detailed by detailed. If he needs to repeat all over again, 
he repeats it. That's the thing that I like here. There's no problem with the topic, guys. There's no problem with the materials on the video. It's not about the video. It's about me who's having a difficulty understanding the topic easier. And this is me, guys, whenever I can't understand the lesson. Even before on my school days, I'm getting nervous on the upcoming exam if I know to myself that I can't really understand the lesson. Do you also feel the same way? And because of the hesitation that I'm feeling right now, I actually asked Google on how I will improve my logical thinking. And I found this very useful site at indeed.com. It says here the best way to strengthen your logical thinking skills. So they provided five methods on how we can improve our logical thinking skills. Spend time on creative hobbies, practice questioning, socialize with others, learn new skills, try to anticipate the outcome of your decision. The methods are very simple, it's just you didn't know how will you apply this. But we are on this review guys, so we don't have any choice but to enhance ourselves, to enhance the way we think, to improve our logical thinking. And most of all guys, we have to conquer our fear of not being logical. Because we can't go anywhere if we will be afraid to try new things, to learn new things, or to enhance our ability. So much for this drama, guys. I just wanted to share my experience and thoughts after I finish that section. If the exam will be all about memorization, I can even get a perfect score from the exam. But, you know, it's not the reality. So I have to focus myself, I have to digest the topic, I need to build a solid foundation to myself. Let me know guys, let me know what you think about this question. And if there are IT professionals there who already finished this hesitation, who already passed the exam, feel free to help us, let's help each other. If you found this video helpful guys, and if this video make you realize something, I suggest to hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I suggest to also hit the subscribe button now and ring the notification bell so you will be updated whenever we posted a new video. And also guys, don't forget to follow me on my LinkedIn account, connect with me and I will also connect to you. Follow us on our social media account so you'll be updated on our updates and especially on our giveaways. And feel free to download the free lab exercises guide for free. You don't need to pay anything to download that. The link to that is also in the description below. Make sure to check that out. Hopefully, the next lesson will be more easier to understand. And what else that I can say is see you on my next video.